One of the most watched couples on the planet. Beyonce and Jay-Z have a revealing new interview out where he talks about their tough times together. Yeah, the superstars' marital rift have been well documented, mainly by the artists themselves. After rumors of Jay-Z's cheating, Beyonce released her album, Lemonade, um, album of the year to many of us, bearing her soul about the pain in their relationship. Uh, then earlier this year, Jay-Z released his album, 444, where he admitted to those transgressions and rapped about how they chose to stick it out. All right, folks, grab a seat because word on the street is that Beyonce and Jay-Z might be heading to Splitsville. Rumor has it Beyonce's had enough and wants out of the marriage. Pretty shocking stuff especially since Jay-Z was all about Beyonce during his Grammy speech, calling out how the Recording Academy's been treating her unfairly her whole solo career. So all the recent controversy, and especially the tea that we're about to spill about Jay-Z and Beyonce, came to light thanks to the recent Grammy Awards. Beyonce's been up for Album of the Year four times, which is like the biggest Grammy there is, but she's never snagged it. Last year, there was a lot of hype around her album Renaissance, but Harry Styles swooped in and won for Harry's house, leaving fans fuming because they thought Beyonce's album was way better. Jay-Z was so mad, he even did an interview on Tidal, his own platform, just to vent about why Beyonce should have won. But he didn't bash the Grammys for favoring Beyonce, saying, look, we grew up dreaming about being at the Grammys and it's all good. We just want them to get it right, you know? Jay-Z knows that music's subjective, but you gotta play fair. That's all we're asking for. We just want them to get it right because we're so passionate about it. We want y'all to get it right. We love y'all. We love y'all. We love y'all. We want y'all to get it right. At least get it close to right. And obviously it's subjective. Y'all don't got to clap at everything. Obviously it's, sub obviously it's subjective because, you know, it's music and it's opinion based. But, you know, some things, you know, I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. The most Grammys, never won album of the year. That doesn't work. You know, some of you, some of you gonna go home tonight and feel like you've been robbed. Jay-Z and his peers grew up idolizing Michael Jackson and Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder won three out of four years in a row. Yeah, Jay-Z seemed pretty ticked off about it last year, but it's been a whole year now and folks thought he might have let it slide. I mean, Beyonce did become the most awarded artist in Grammy history, so there was something to celebrate. However, Jay-Z was still nursing a grudge because when he got honored with the Global Icon Award at the Grammys last week, he brought up the same old issue, calling out the Academy for favoring his wife. He made it clear he didn't want to make a scene, you know? It's all about music and opinions, but some things you just don't want to let slide. Now, there were definitely mixed feelings about this whole situation. A bunch of folks thought Jay-Z was just being greedy, whining about Beyonce not snagging album of the year when she's already got a whopping 32 Grammys under her belt, more than anyone else in history. They figured he should just be thankful for all the success Beyonce's had instead of moaning about what she hasn't achieved. But then, on the flip side, plenty of people found it pretty darn cute that Jay-Z was standing up for his lady like that. I mean, the fact that he was still speaking up for her over a year later showed he really cared about her and what mattered to her. Plus, the fact that he chose to shine the spotlight on her instead of himself during his big moment was pretty heartwarming to see. However, it seems there might have been another reason behind Jay-Z's defense of Beyonce. Word on the street is that it was a last-ditch effort to win her back because apparently they've been living separate lives for a while now. Yep, allegedly they've been putting on a front in public as a happy couple, kinda like Will and Jada Smith did since 2016 before Jada spilled the beans last year. This rumor was dropped by blogger Storm Monroe, who claimed to have some insider scoop on the situation, suggesting that the power couple might be headed for Splitsville because Beyonce's supposedly planning to take things further and divorce Jay-Z. After the powers that be, the PTB, the industry, whatever you wanna call them, once they're done with Diddy, right? And um, this is gonna be going on for some time, but once, I guess you could say the public humiliation, basically after the major documentaries come out, right? After they- Now, while some hardcore Beyonce fans are cheering at the news, cause let's face it, 
They've been urging Beyonce to kick Jay-Z to the curb for ages and move on with her life. Things have gotten even messier, especially after Beyonce spilled the tea that Jay-Z copped to cheating on her with some woman known as Becky with the good hair. But Beyonce decided to ride it out, sticking by her man through all that drama. And now, she's hitting him with divorce papers? Yeah, something fishy's definitely going on here. I mean, she's been ride or die for years. She's had to deal with folks yapping about their age gap and how Jay might have pulled a fast one on her into the marriage. Whenever people dive into Beyonce and Jay's relationship, you can bet your bottom dollar that the topic of their big age difference pops up. Beyonce, born in 81, is 42 now, while Jay-Z, who came into the world in 69, is a whopping 53, making that a solid 13-year gap. Now, when you're both well into your 40s and beyond, an age gap might not turn too many heads. But let's rewind to when they first met. Beyonce was a fresh 18, and Jay-Z was a season 31. Now that's the kind of age difference that raises a few eyebrows. As the rumors swirl about Beyonce and Jay-Z's marriage hitting rocky waters, it's hard not to reflect on the journey that brought them to this point. From the highs of their chart-topping collaborations to the lows of public scandals, their relationship has been a roller coaster ride of fame, love, and resilience. So, let's rewind the clock and delve deeper into the timeline of one of music's most iconic power couples, tracing the steps that led them to where they are today. Beyonce and Jay-Z have been the ultimate power duo in the eyes of many for the last who knows how many years. They're on top of the world, killing it together and separately. Remember their joint album, Everything Is Love? Iconic. And let's not forget their solo achievements. Beyonce's groundbreaking visual album, Lemonade, and Jay-Z's anthem, Empire State of Mind, with Alicia Keys. But they're not just musicians. Jay-Z's Rock Nation Entertainment Agency is a huge success, and he even brought the Nets to Brooklyn. Plus, his savvy investments made him the first hip-hop billionaire. Beyonce is no slouch either, mentoring rising stars like Chloe X. Halle, running the Ivy Park fashion line, and oh yeah, and we already mentioned the record-breaking 32 Grammy Awards. And let's talk about their kids, Rumi, Sir, and Blue Ivy Carter, are already legendary. With a two-decade relationship under their belt, they're like the definition of family goals. Sure, they've had their ups and downs, but if anyone can make a marriage work at this level, it's them. Here's how they got together and stayed together. Beyonce and Jay-Z first crossed paths sometime between the years 1999 and 2000, but they took their time. Beyonce was 18 when they met and 19 when they started dating. No rush, just building a solid foundation as friends. They made their debut as a couple in Vanity Fair's music issue. But before that, they were friends for a year and a half. Friendship first, romance later. Back in 2002, we saw their very first musical collab. Zero Three Bonnie and Clyde. It was clear they were a powerhouse duo on and off the stage. Just a year after that, the legendary track Crazy in Love dropped, and it was fire. Grammy-winning fire. The song didn't shy away from their love story, and fans ate it up. 2004 saw their red carpet debut as a couple at the VMAs. Superstars announcing to the world, we're together. Wedding bells were on Beyonce's mind. She even talked about her future wedding, envisioning something intimate with her destiny's child sisters as bridesmaids. They tied the knot in a low-key ceremony on April 4, 2008, a meaningful date for the couple, who frequently referenced the number four in their lives. A few months later, they opened up about their relationship in an interview, emphasizing the importance of privacy in their personal lives. In 2011 at the Blue Ivy VMAs, Beyonce announced her pregnancy during a show-stopping performance at the VMAs, a momentous occasion for the couple. And in January of 2012, Blue Ivy Carter was born, and the Knowles Carter dynasty began. The world got its first glimpse of Blue Ivy through Beyonce's unique photo release on Tumblr. Beyonce wowed the world with her rendition of the Star Spangled Banner at President Obama's inauguration. In 2013, we saw more about the intimate parts of the family. Their intimate life was showcased in the HBO documentary, Life is But a Dream, offering a rare glimpse into their world. I always battle with how much do I reveal about myself? How do I stay current? How do I stay soulful? I felt like I had been so commercially successful, it wasn't enough. 
It's something really stressful about having to keep up with that. You can't express yourself. You can't grow. It is the battle of my life. So I set a goal, and my goal was independence. Then, that same year, their music took the spotlight again with Jay-Z's Magna Carta Holy Grail and Beyonce's surprise visual album. Beyonce's self-titled album dropped, featuring their sultry collab, Drunk in Love. From being crazy in love to drunk in love, they've been through it all. But just when people thought it couldn't be better, things started swinging hard. The drama came late in this one, but it came hard. After the Met Gala on May 7, 2014, a video pops up showing Beyonce's sis, Solange Knowles, apparently throwing hands at Jay-Z in an elevator at an after party. Word on the street is she went all Hulk because of cheating rumors. Then they dropped this statement. As a result of the public release of the elevator security footage from Monday, May 5th, there has been a great deal of speculation about what triggered the unfortunate incident. But the most important thing is that our family has worked through it. Jay and Solange each assume their share of responsibility for what has occurred. They both acknowledge their role in this private matter that has played out in the public. They both have apologized to each other, and we have moved forward as a united family. The reports of Solange being intoxicated or displaying erratic behavior throughout that evening are simply false. At the end of the day, families have problems, and we're no different. We love each other, and above all, we are family. We've put this behind us and hope everyone else will do the same. Later, Bay throws shade in her flawless remix track, singing, Yeah, sometimes stuff hits the fan when there's a billion bucks in an elevator. June 2014 rolls in, and things seem rosier as Beyonce and Jay-Z hit the road for their On The Run tour. But come July 2014, whispers of divorce start swirling. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how to split without making it official, spills a source to page six. This tour's huge, and they've already cashed in most of the ticket sales. The insider spilled more tea, saying, Jay was doing his thing, Bay was doing hers. They thought a kid would fix things, but nah, didn't work out that way. Then in August 2014, Solange talks Elevator Gate in Lucky Mag, saying, Look, me and my fam are cool. We said our piece, and we're all good with it. Fast forward to 2015, and Bay and Jay seem to be patching things up. Jay even drops a vid of their wedding vows. And hey, they hit the Met Gala in May. No elevator fiascos this time. Then, Queen Bay's Super Bowl halftime show back in 2016? Legendary. It stole the spotlight from the game, truthfully. Comments tell you all that you need to know about this show. How nice of her to allow a football game in the middle of her concert. But hold up, April 2016 brings Lemonade, and it's like a breakup album on steroids. Songs like Formation and Sorry have fans playing detective, trying to suss out who the heck Becky with the good hair is. October 2016, Beyonce shouts out Jay-Z during her Formation World Tour, seeming to put those divorce rumors to bed. Then, in February 2017, it's all rainbows and unicorns again as Bay drops the bombshell that she's expecting twins. Cue the swooning. On her IG account, Beyonce wrote, We would like to share our love and happiness. We have been blessed two times over. We are incredibly grateful that our family will be growing by two, and we thank you for your well wishes. The Carters. The Knowles Carter fam gets a double dose of cuteness when Rumi and Sir Carter come into the picture. And just when we thought things couldn't get more interesting, Jay-Z drops his album 444, basically confirming he messed up. Jay spills more beans in an interview with T, the New York Times style magazine saying, so even with women, you're gonna shut down emotionally, so you can't connect. In my case, like, it's deep. And then all the things happen from there, infidelity. We were using our art almost like a therapy session, and we started making music together. And then the music she was making at that time was further along. So her album came out as opposed to the joint album that we were working on. Um, we still have a lot of that music. And this is what it became. There was never a point where it was like, I'm making this album. I was right there the entire time. But things kept rolling. 2018 comes and they drop the bomb about their joint tour, On The Run 2, but no word on that collab album Jay talked about in his Times interview. Then, Beyonce steals the show at Coachella just a month later. June rolls around, and finally, Bay and Jay release their joint album, Everything Is Love, which they bust out during their OTR2 tour. 
In 2019, Beyonce hops on the Lion King train, voicing Nala in the live-action flick. She and Jay-Z hit up the premiere, rubbing elbows with British royalty, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. And let's not forget their little shout-out to Meghan in their song, A Pesh Asterisk T. For a sec, everything's peachy keen. But things get a bit dicey when they pose for a Tiffany Jewelers ad with a painting by Jean-Michel Basquiat. Some folks in the art world aren't feeling it, saying Basquiat would have wanted his work in public places, not ads. Fast forward to 2022, and Beyonce seems to spill the tea about Jay-Z's cheating rumors in her Renaissance album. And I know nobody's perfect, so I'll let you be. I'll let you be. It's the way you wear your emotions on both of your sleeves. Ah, to the face you make when I tell you that I have to leave. She sings in plastic off the sofa. And there's a sneaky reference to the Solange elevator incident in Cozy. She's a god. She's a hero. She survived. All she been through. Confident and she lethal. Might I suggest you don't mess with my sis? Cause she's comfortable. And before the Grammys this year, we saw them last year on June 20th, right in the middle of Beyonce's Renaissance World Tour. They hit up the Louis Vuitton menswear show in Paris. And guess what? It's on the oldest bridge in the city. They're not just there for the fashion though. They're showing some love for their buddy Pharrell, who's flexing his creative muscles as the brand's new creative director. Coming back to the present time, we wonder if this really might be the end of the power couple of Jay-Z and Beyonce. So Jay-Z's track record hasn't been squeaky clean in the 16 years they've been hitched, but Beyonce's always had his back. So why the sudden move to distance herself? And if Storm Monroe's spilling the tea, they've apparently been living separately for a hot minute keeping it under wraps like pros. So what's the deal now? Why is Beyonce seemingly hitting the eject button on the marriage when everything seemed chill? Well, word on the street is Jay-Z might be the next one in line for a dose of public exposure, just like Diddy. Diddy had the internet in a frenzy for months after Cassie filed her lawsuits. Now, after all that drama, folks are saying Hollywood's elite have been scheming to expose and ditch those they're done with and Diddy was just the first name on their hit list. So, there's been some talk about the elites taking down some big names, one after the other, cause they're done with them. Jaguar Wright was the first to spill the beans on this, right after Cassie sued Diddy. She suggested that Jay-Z might be even shadier than Diddy, but he slicker covers his tracks better, allegedly. Now, considering Jaguar's track record for spilling accurate tea, fans are thinking she might be onto something here. They reckon Jay-Z could be the next one in the firing line. And it seems like things might already be heating up because one of his former Rock Nation artists, M.I.A., came out swinging. Rock Nation's been in some murky waters before, like when Tori Lanez said they hushed him up about his drama with Megan Thee Stallion. And let's not forget Tori's dad going on a rant outside the courthouse, accusing Jay-Z and Rock Nation of pulling strings in Tori's case and influencing the verdict. Wild stuff, right? I just stood here in this Los Angeles County and witness the worst miscarriage of justice yes. that this world has yes. ever seen. Yes. You want to know how I feel? I'll tell you exactly how I feel. I got some names that I want to call. Alex Spiro, Desiree Perez, and the whole wicked system of Rock Nation, including you, Jay-Z. Yes. You who say you rose from the gutter, but you have traded and bartered the souls of young men. So Tory's dad wasn't done. He went on to claim that Jay-Z supposedly bought off an independent witness named Sean Kelly. Apparently, Kelly started acting real sketchy after meeting with some folks from Rock Nation. Now, there's been chatter for a minute about Rock Nation being knee-deep in some shady stuff. But the latest accusations from Mia are next level. In a wild Twitter rant, Mia went after Jay-Z, accusing him of teaming up with the Bronfman family to snatch her kid away. If you're not familiar, the Bronfmans are loaded. We're talking over $30 billion loaded. But it's not just about the cash. They've got ties to some real murky business, including cult rumors and a whole bunch of other sketchy dealings that I won't even dive into. So why would Jay-Z get mixed up with them? Well, according to MIA, he allegedly got a fat paycheck from the Bronfmans to help them swipe her kid. M.I.A. and Benjamin Bronfman, they were together for a hot minute, even engaged, 
and had a kid, but things went south, and according to MIA, she's been keeping quiet about it for too long. She's ready to spill. So MIA is not holding back. She's slamming the US immigration policies as she fights tooth and nail to see her 14-year-old son, who she shares with her ex, Benjamin Bronfman. Now, MIA and Bronfman's son came into the world back in February 2009, but things have been rocky on the custody front since they split in 2012. She's been calling out Bronfman for allegedly trying to snatch her kid away since 2013, even making public pleas to spend Christmas with him in December 2023. And she's not just calling out Bronfman, she's pointing fingers at his family's ties to the NXIVM cult, led by convicted creep Keith Rainier. Benjamin's grandpa, Edgar Bronfman Sr., had a brief fling with NXIVM, but he bailed when he realized it was sketchy. His daughter Claire Bronfman, though, got herself convicted on some serious charges related to the cult. MIA's also got beef with the U.S. over her visa, saying she's being denied because she spoke up about Israel's mess in Palestine, calling it straight-up genocide and demanding a ceasefire. And she's not done yet. She's ready to go to war for her kid, y'all. But she's also throwing shade at Jay-Z, claiming he was on the payroll from the Bronfmans back when she was battling for custody in 2013. According to her, Jay-Z's Rock Nation cut her off, deleting her emails asking for help like they were spam. She even says she got stuck in Brooklyn with some shady orders keeping her there. So check this out, folks. Remember when Jaguar Wright spilled the tea about the elites taking down giants one by one? Well, it seems like that whole expose might be kicking off already. And isn't it wild that Cassie, Diddy's ex-artist, was the first to put Diddy on blast, and now we're seeing the same thing with Jay-Z? I gotta say, it's got me thinking there's more to this than meets the eye. The timing is just too sketchy. And you know what? Maybe this sheds some light on why Beyonce is supposedly pulling the plug on her marriage. I mean, look at how everyone backed off from Diddy after he got called out. Even his main squeeze, Young Miami, is doing a total rebrand, claiming she's in her yams era now, and even spitting rhymes again after swearing she was done. She's even been spotted hitting the town with her baby daddy. So if Jay-Z's ship is sinking, it makes total sense that Beyonce would want to jump ship and protect herself, her kids, and her bank account. If they're already living separate lives, getting a divorce is just the next logical step, right? And from the looks of it, fans aren't exactly heartbroken over the split. It seems like they're okay with Queen Bey doing her own thing. And there you have it, folks. The drama keeps unfolding, the rumors keep swirling, and the truth? Well, who knows if we'll ever get the full story. But one thing's for sure, when it comes to celebrity gossip, buckle up because it's always a wild ride. Stick around for more updates because you never know what's going to happen next in the world of the rich and famous and don't you dare forget to keep it Rizzle.